Hi, participant. Do you want to score higher marks in exams? The exams are nearing for you. School exams, board exams, competitive exams. And you have to cover so much of portions and you have very less time to do. And the more the exams are nearing, you get more and more nervous for the exams. When you get nervous, you get tension. When you get tension, you lose your concentration. When you lose your concentration, you don't feel like studying your subjects. Now, when you don't feel like studying your subjects, you lose interest. When you lose interest, it will create stress. And when you get stressed, you feel like that, I'm not going to score high marks or I am not going to pass the exams. This usually happens to almost all the students in India or anywhere in the world. Yes, I have got a solution for this. Don't worry. Hi, my name is Rakesh Mohan, memory and study skill expert for Max Academy Mysore. For the last 24 years, I have helped more than 1.5 lakh students come out of this problem and score above 95% in their exams and become a topper. In this video, I'm going to show you five study hacks of how you can come out with this problem and score about 95% and become a topper in your school or any exams that you face. But for that, you have to watch this video till the end. And if you like this video, please share this video with your friends as much as possible. That's all. Okay, let us start with begin the video now. The first study hack is very simple you have to be very calm cool and relaxed when you're listening to this first is use to internet intelligently learn to use the intelligent of internet we use internet for uh, for instagram purpose we use it for facebook snapchat share chat for all of unwanted things for negative things yes you can keep aside some 10 to 15 minutes for internet but what happens when you go to instagram or facebook is the 10 to 15 minutes will become two to three hours but what happens is you get more addicted to the social media then you become more negative the result from that than getting positive result so during examination time you have to avoid as much as possible of the social media and you should learn how to use the internet intelligently say Instead of taking more help from teachers, you can take the help from YouTube, you can take the help from Quora, you can take the help from artificial intelligence. You go to chat GPT and type your problem, it will give you answer immediately. So learn to use the internet intelligently. The first study hack. The second study hack that you have to use is use your dominant learning style. What is the meaning of dominant learning style? All of us, we have our own learning style. Like film actors, they have their own style of acting. We students, we have our own style of learning. So there are three styles of learning. Some students learn by visualizing their subjects. Some students learn by reading out louder. And some students learn by writing. So ask yourself whether I learn by visualizing or reading louder or by writing. Now, if you follow visualizing, follow visualizing because that is your dominant learning style. Visualizing means imagine a king is going with his soldiers in the forest. So you can see the picture in your mind. You can apply this in history, you can apply this in geography, you can apply this in economics, you can apply this in chemistry, you can apply this in biology. Okay, to remember words from English and you know, remembering foreign language words. Visualizing things are very easier. Imagine visualizing a movie that you have seen before. Each and every scene and dialogue, song, action, you can able to remember because it's a picture you it is visualizing. If it is dominant learning style, use it. Otherwise, if you use reading louder, yes, read louder. If reading louder gives you confidence and energy, write to read because that is your dominant learning style. Read louder when you're reading your notes or textbook, reading question paper, read it louder. But don't read question paper louder in the examination. And third learning style is by writing. See, by writing, what happens is the benefit of writing is you're paying 100% attention to writing. But when you're visualizing or reading louder, your attention may go here and there. But when you're writing, your 100% attention will be on writing. So you'll have 100% concentration and you know what you are writing. And that is excellent training to give your mind. For this question, I have to write answer like this. So second hack is practice your dominant learning style. So first one is use internet intelligently. Second one is use your dominant learning style okay 
and the third one is productive time use your time productively and constructively now morning time whichever the time you subject that is very important which are the subjects that are very important science mathematics and social studies they are very important and core subjects so keep morning time when you are having a study holidays during exams morning 5 am till 11 am or 12 o'clock one and a half hour one and a half hour one and a half hour keep for mathematics science and social studies so what happens is your brain accepts the information very easily it processes the information very easily and it will store the information very easily of the core subjects okay so if you think i read english in the morning and keep mathematics in the afternoon or afternoon you feel very sleepy what happens you won't be able to understand you won't be able to cover the whole portion so use the productive time productive time means is the time which you are highly energetic highly active at that time you have to keep the core subjects or important subjects that you have to cover follow this third technique use the time productively the fourth technique is to do list make a to do list every day when you get up in the morning to make a to do list don't to do the to do list for week or one month okay today what are the topics i have to cover from this up some signs what are the topics i have to cover and these topics have these other questions I have to cover make a to do list and cover the to do list and finish the to do list from mathematics you have to cover algebra in algebra what i have to cover in arithmetic what i have to cover and then in geometry what i have to cover to do list make a to do list and finish that in history what you have to cover from economics what you have to cover from geography what you have to cover from english what you have to cover make a to do list <laughs> if you make a to do list it will give you a reminder effect this is called reminder effect it keeps you reminder say the same effect we use for getting up in the morning we used to keep alarm 5 5 o'clock we keep alarm alarm will buzzer at exactly 5 o'clock so we'll get alarm we we'll get up at 5 o'clock very similar if you make a to do list keep on seeing the to do list again and again and tick mark those topics which you have covered so that gives you again self confidence it boosts your self confidence that you have covered the topic properly fourth study hack and the fifth study hack is use pomodoro technique pomodoro technique means read in time slots read in time slots you have to read the subjects in time slots you cannot read continuously for 2 hours or 3 hours 4 hours even albert einstein cannot concentrate for more than 3 hours if you study you have to break your study time in groups so study for 45 minutes and take a 10 minutes short break in the 10 minutes time you can do you can listen to music you can watch tv you can just relax yourself you can just go for walking you can spend time with your family members parents friends and again study for 45 minutes take a 10 minutes break study for 45 minutes take a 10 minutes break do like this this is called the pomodoro pomodoro is a very famous psychologist who made this suggestion this is after doing a enormous research for 40 years and this technique works you can just try this technique and it surely it will work this is called studying in time slot these five techniques see so first one is use your dominant learning style second one use the internet intelligently third to do list fourth one use pomodoro technique and use the fifth one the use your time productively if you follow these five study hacks you can score above 95 in the forthcoming exams you will not going to miss a single mark also just if you are not understood my video again watch this video till you understand it it just how it takes you a five hours or such minutes and then apply this technique knowing is not knowing knowing is doing doing is doing if you know the technique it's you are not going to get any result from that doing is doing you have to do it you have to apply the technique then you're going to get the result if you like this video subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed and share this video with your friends thank you very much for watching this